Hello, say charata. So how can you eliminate negative thoughts? Or better yet, how can you control your negative thoughts? When we read interviews and biographies of centenarians, the people who lived more than 100 years, we notice a common trait among them. Those who live long and healthy lives know how to avoid stress and negative thoughts. Stop worrying about things you do not have control over. From a purely logical perspective, to eliminate negative thinking, you just need to stop worrying. Therefore, to eliminate negative thoughts, simply keep your focus on what is positive. And if you still don't know how to control the focus of your thoughts, you can visit arata.se forward slash focus course. And think about this. If you have a problem, there are only two alternatives. Either it is something under your control or it's something beyond your control. And if it is beyond your control, don't worry. It doesn't make sense to worry about things that you cannot do anything about. Worry, in this case, will not help to change the reality and therefore it is a waste of time. It is irrational to worry about something that is beyond your control. On the other hand, if you are concerned about something that is under your control, don't worry. Worrying still won't change the reality. You just need to do what has to be done. Just do it. It sounds quite simple, right? We need to learn to accept the situation as it is. There will be times that we just cannot do anything about it. And then we have to question our beliefs about the situation. And as we go through this process of self-questioning, it is possible to discover that we need to change our beliefs. Understand the difference between the event and your interpretation of the event. Imagine that you just got rejected. Your relationship with that person that you loved is now over. What does that mean? If you want, you can interpret this as the end of the world, that you'll never find anybody who will love you as much. But what if you find later that your ex practiced cannibalism and killed and ate their previous partners? The fact of the breakup remains the same. But now your feeling is relief that you are not the next victim. This macabre example serves to illustrate the following message. Only you assign emotions to the facts. Who creates meaning? It is you. The world around you is indifferent. The facts are objective. What is terrible for one person can be normal for another person. There is a big difference between this event happened and this event happened and it is terrible. This part of this is terrible, that's something that you are creating. That's something that could be terrible, or could be acceptable, or could even be good. This is all meaning that we create. It is only you who is doing this type of evaluation, who is evaluating things. Destructive feelings and negative thoughts have one origin. Your beliefs. Your beliefs are always filtering the events and giving meaning to them. It is natural that negative feelings and fears are strong. When you try to feed a bird, it will usually only eat if you leave the crumbs a little bit distant from you. It is very rare for a wild bird to develop the comfort necessary to approach a human because in the millions of years of evolution, only the birds that had an instinctive fear have survived. And it's sad that the dodos were huge birds that were not afraid of humans. They were very easy prey for hunting and they ended up extinct. We talked about this in the episode 10 in the series Hello Say Charata and you can go to arata.se forward slash hello 10. With humans, it is basically the same thing. And we see all those tragedies of violence and you know scary news in the newspapers because it sells. It guarantees an audience. And the media needs to be selling ads to make money. And the advertisers will only put money where there is attention. And attention is drawn to those scary news. Our brain is constantly trying to assess situations of danger and risk. We are afraid of things. Even though now, in, in a modern life, in a city, we have all the comforts of civilization, 
in our DNA, in our very essence, we are creatures designed by evolution to be afraid of the unknown. Just take this test. Look around you, in your room, right now. See everything that is of the color blue. Ready? Close your eyes now. Are your eyes closed? Good. Now, tell me everything in your room that is of the color green. You can open your eyes now. You probably forgot a lot of things because your focus was what I asked for, which was the color blue. Similarly, when our attention is focused on risk and fear, you will fail to pay attention to the good opportunities and the good things. Your mind is very powerful. Your brain is able to respond to requests that you formulate. So if you start looking in your memory for the reasons why you will fail, you will certainly remember situations in the past when you were unsuccessful. If you want to eliminate your negative thoughts, you can look for explanations of how you can achieve the result and then your mind will be able to identify memories of events in which you succeeded. This conversation about success and failure is very interesting, so because of that I am separating here for the next episode. Next week we're gonna talk a little bit more about success and failure. But what I want you to do now is this, go to the demonstration class that we have on the course Better New Year by visiting arata.se forward slash Better New Year. This will help us to prepare everything for an excellent year ahead and to take control of the negative thoughts that are hindering us. Better New Year is a fast course that will equip you to think differently and to finally overcome your negative thoughts with a series of practical activities. So you can visit now at forward slash better new year.